hey guys welcome back to my channel thank y'all for tuning in in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i got this cute soft makeup look and first things first i'm going to take my face primer this is the hard candy pore defense primer serum and i'm going to take a good amount of this and just rub it all over my face and as you guys can see i've already done my eyebrows off camera You just want to rub this all over. And y'all do not come for me in the conversation about my nails. I washed my hair before I filmed this video and my polish kind of cheap, so don't come for me. But anyways, now I'm just taking my setting spray by Heart Candy as well. This is the mattifying one. And I like to do this before my foundation. I just find that it helps out with like my oiliness throughout the day because I get really, really oily. Okay, so now I am taking my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NW45. And I'm just taking this and just applying it all over my face. And now I'm just taking this, I think this might be a stippling brush, I believe. And I'm just taking this and just applying the foundation all over, rubbing it, smoothing it through. I know some girls prefer a beauty blender, but I just feel like this just kind of helps me get that airbrush flawless look. So yeah, I prefer to do this. Okay, after that, now we're moving on to eyes. I am taking my Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C12. And I am just using this as an eyeshadow primer. Or an eyeshadow base, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and now I'm taking my Mini Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And I'm dampening it with some water. I just find that this kind of helps blend out the concealer a bit more. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, now I'm taking my Morphe 352 palette. Hi, y'all. This is the best palette in the world. And now I'm taking this first color in the color Chestnut. And I am applying this color into my outer crease. And now I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. Okay, and now I'm taking the color brunette. And I'm just gonna apply this color in my outer corner. So guys, this is maybe my fifth makeup video, I think, on my channel, and I think I have really made some good progress. If y'all think so, just, you know, let me know down below, but I definitely want to include more makeup tutorials on my channel, but yeah, I went to Sephora, and I spent maybe, what, mm, about $300 on makeup, because, you know, I'm trying to be a whole beauty guru out here, so yeah. But this palette, I love, love this palette. And I also purchased a few others that I'm going to use in future videos. So y'all just stay tuned for that. And now I'm just taking this color and I'm blending it in with the other color. As you guys can see right here. And now I am taking the color Polished. It's like a shimmery copper color. And I'm going to be implying this in my inner crease. And I'm going to try to like blend it in with the other two colors in the middle. Wow. 
And now I'm doing the same exact thing to the other eye. Okay, so now I'm about to attempt to cut the crease. I am still new to this, but this is the Makeup Revolution Concealer again in the color C12. As y'all can see, I'm about to be struggling in a minute. So yeah. And now I'm just taking this brush and kind of just drawing the shape that I want. It's a little messy, but it, it's, it's going to get better. Trust me, it's going to get better. Okay, now I'm taking this LA Color Shimmer in the color purple. Now this shimmer isn't as pigment as I thought it was, but you guys can kind of just see that on camera. So now I'm just kind of taking it and just packing it on there to get it to really pop. Taking a little bit more. I also purchased the gold one and it's like way different like I feel like the quality of it is a lot better than this one but hey it was only a dollar so what, what was I expecting I was being cheap okay so now I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye and now I'm taking my makeup revolution concealer in the color C13 and I'm just highlighting underneath my eyes um, I believe the tip of my lip, my chin, my forehead, and my nose. And y'all, I've heard that this concealer is the dupe to the Tarte Tape Shape, I believe. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, I've never had Tape Shape. I'm not going to personally spend my money on Tape Shape. But this concealer is really nice, especially compared to the LA Girl Pro Conceal, which I actually like this one better than that one. I just feel like the LA Girl Pro Conceal was just kind of hard for me to blend which this one is like really really creamy okay so now I'm just taking a damp beauty blender and now I'm just blending out this highlight and I forgot to mention I had already went and put some lashes on y'all can probably tell by now Okay guys, I fast forwarded, now I'm onto my nose, pretty much done blending. And now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana and I'm just placing this underneath my eye. And instead of baking, I like to actually take the powder and press it into my highlight. I just feel like it gives more of a flawless finish. And also like I said, I get really oily throughout the day and I feel like this just helps out with that. Y'all just realized something. I have a lot of Makeup Revolution products. You know, you need to come sponsor me. You need coins. Like, for real. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I'm doing the same thing to the other side. My chin, my nose, my lip. Pretty much everywhere where I highlight it. Like I said, I don't bake. I just take the powder and press it into my skin. And right now I'm just feeling myself okay so moving on to contour this is also makeup revolution this is the concealer in the color ooh, I think it's c16 I believe c17 one of the one of the darker shades but I'm just applying this on my cheekbones and on my forehead and now I'm going in with my real techniques I think this is the finishing brush I believe I'll have everything linked down below in the description box but now you guys can just see me blending that out 
I like to go upwards with my contour on my cheeks. And then on my forehead, I like to go in a circular motion. I feel like this kind of helps blend it out more. Okay guys, now I'm taking my BH Cosmetics, it's my Ray Ray palette, and I'm going in with this dark shade right here for my contour. This is just to set it, and you really don't need much of this powder. And I'm just putting it everywhere where I contoured. Okay, and I am just taking a little bit of that same contour powder and contouring my nose. I prefer to just use powder alone on my nose because I feel like cream can kind of get a little messy and then my nose be looking weird. I just feel like whatever. So now I'm moving on to blush. I'm taking that dark color right here from this e.l.f. palette. And I don't really care for blush, so I'm just using a little bit on my cheeks. Okay, so now the It's My Ray Ray palette, I am taking that highlight shade right there, and I'm just popping that on my cheekbones. And I'm not going to use much highlight in this video because I want this look to still be kind of soft. Nothing too dramatic. And I'm just taking a little bit on my nose with my finger. taking a little bit and putting it in my tear ducts and now I am taking a lip liner y'all I forgot to highlight my brow bone oh well well okay so now I'm taking this lip liner that I got from the beauty supply store for like a dollar but you know it's cute so we gonna use it and I'm just lining out my lips and now I'm taking again makeup revolution this is one of their liquid lipsticks that came in a lip kit. I can't really remember the shade, but like I said, I will have everything down in my description box. Okay, guys, and that is it. And bam, your girl is cute. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this. If you guys want to see more makeup tutorials, just let me know down below in the comment section. And y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.